stage one. We're talking about this is stage two. And again, they don't follow a, a particular order because you can be out of order. So my example of going to Thailand is how first I had that honeymoon. Wow, I'm in Thailand. Excitement. I see English in the in the airport. Then I got in the taxi. I'm driving and I saw nothing English but that Kodak sign. And I wanted to go to that place that had the Kodak sign. And then I looked again and I saw Champion Batteries. And it was like, oh, yeah. So I saw two and we were driving. So I had that excitement. So then I had that horror. So then, this is the crazy part for me, this crazy little American in Thailand. We get there, we're going to now go to a Buddhist funeral. And it's in a Buddhist funeral that's, that's out away from the city. So it's not right in the city. So we go to the funeral and I'm still going, wow, this is so amazing. This whole thing is just so amazing. I think I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I told my friend, where's the bathroom? I need to go to the bathroom. She said, oh, oh, it's over here. My friend was my student, one of my students that I'd gone to visit in Thailand with. So she said, over here. So I go and I open the door and I look. <laughs> big hole. And I saw a big hole. <laughs> And I thought, what do I do with the hole? <laughs> right? I don't know what to do with the hole in the ground. It's like, how do I, do I, or do I, how do I use this thing, right? So my mind's trying to figure this hole in the ground out. And, and finally I figured it out. But then I looked for the toilet paper, right? Because in the United States we have lots of toilet paper. There's no toilet paper. And I'm going, oh my golly, what am I going to do now? And then I looked and here was a hose with water. Oh, to spray. I'm going, why would they have that there? I didn't understand all that. So I did the best I could with my opportunity. Right? And I left, I used that and washed my hands real good. Then I left and I went to sit down at the table to eat. And they passed me a roll of toilet paper. And I'm thinking, it's too late for that. <laughs> I don't need that now. But, and I thought, well, maybe they don't understand. And maybe this is like a new American invention, this toilet paper. And they use it when they eat for napkins. I still don't know why I got toilet paper at the table. I don't know why I got that. But you know what I did? I ripped off like six big pieces, and I folded them, and I <laughs> I tucked him away. So when I went to the bathroom next time, I would have toilet paper. <laughs> so that's my horror story. That's my horror story when I first got to, to Thailand. And it was very upsetting. It, you see my biased thinking? Well, maybe they don't know what toilet paper's really for. Right? That was my biased little American kind of thinking going on here. I don't know American. You can't say American thinking. It was my cultural thinking. So, yeah, I get what the horror story's like. I've had plenty of them. I lived in Germany for two years. I had some horror stories yeah, I there. I remember when the first oh. time I'd be in the school, uh -huh. and my country, they have one of the big, um, small classes yeah. for middle, uh, for elementary. So when I was to school here in Thailand, I was like, big school, I'm like, just the school, and my parents, my parents, he's like, he's like, yeah, go to the school. I'm like, but I only need one room. I, I don't need the whole school. I just need one room. I don't need the whole school. Yes. Yeah, because in your country, was it one room? There was there like six rooms. Uh -huh. Six separate rooms. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's separate. Yeah. But it's a little. Yeah. It's not big. And it's smaller. Yeah. 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 So, wow, did you have some culture shock? Yeah. yeah. How did you feel about that, though? Because remember, horror, what does the word horror mean? Like, oh. <laughs> Did I scare you? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, you were supposed to be scared. <laughs> because horror is like... <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah. So horror is kind of like um, Halloween in the United States. Yeah. Haunted, yeah. Houses. Haunted houses and things yeah. like this. Something that scares you or makes you uncomfortable. And you don't really feel good about it, maybe, at first, when it first happens to you. That kind of horror, so that was her horror. What's your horror story? Somebody tell me, what was the, the thing that you, you're going, oh, this is just not right. I don't feel good about this. It's not comfortable. Yes. Right in the freeway. 
driving on the freeway. I'm uh, getting some others going. Drive in the snow. Driving in the snow. That was your horror. Riding in the airplane. Riding in the oh yeah, first time ever in an airplane. Yeah. How many of you the first time ever in an airplane when you came to the United States? Wasn't that a crazy <laughs> feeling? Yeah. It's like, did you? How did you feel when you first got in it? And there's all these people sitting there. <laughs> Scary. Scary. <laughs> Good word. Give me another word. I feel like it. There's a couple. Not so high. Amazing. Felt amazing. So for you, you felt the honeymoon. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I never had you. Yeah. I never, ever, never ever, done it. You weren't even afraid, were you? It's just like, no, I never, wow. I never Birth yet. Yeah. 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 His first time time. Wow. I will be fine. Um, He's going to do it again. I got that again. Your, yours was the first time in an airplane. How did you feel? Oh, me? Uh-huh. Oh, that first time we were down, I've done airplane. How did you feel? Mm, I didn't play butterfly in my stomach. <laughs> butterflies in your stomach. But were those butterflies, were they the bitter, sweet kind of butterflies we talked about in Honeymoon? Yeah, yeah. Or were they horror? Oh, oh, More yeah. the horror. It's it's like, I, oh, 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 can't I was, even breathe kind of yeah. horror? I was flying with my right. aunt. I was flying with my aunt and my dad to South Africa and go visit my, my uncle and sister. So um, when I was flying, I was running over my head and I said, I'm going to fly. Oh, wow. <laughs> they take care of you. So yeah, I was and, and you said that you're the first time you ever flew was, yeah. tell us about that. I tell my mom, what is my ears? Oh, my ears, because oh, yeah, yeah, your ears yeah. popped. Yeah. yeah, they do, don't they? When you get up so high and your ears do that thing? Yeah. Yeah. What did you learn? How do you make the ears so they don't do that? You. When I open my mouth, they uh-huh. like, Yawn, we call it yawn. Yeah. Everybody do that, one, two, three. Oh. Yeah, once you do, you can't stop. <laughs> I should not have done this. Would you just sleep? Yeah. It's so popping the ears. How did you feel, though? It hurt your ears. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Every time you fly. Mm-hmm. You get that ear thing. So, how did you feel besides that? Besides the ears, what else? Um, scared. Yeah. I don't know what they can do. Yeah. You're stuck, aren't you? Yeah. You're up here and there's nothing to protect you. Nothing to with my mom. Just up with my mom. You were with your mom? Well, I'm glad you were with your mom. Was it her first time to fly? Yeah. All my family. So all of you. I remember the first time I flew. I was already out of high school, so I was like 20 years old. The first time I ever flew on an airplane. I remember that. Anybody else? A horror moment. Besides flying or driving on the freeway or driving in the snow, 